Hey guys, it's me, Robert Johnston, and this is my recap video covering the days of <clears throat> 69 through 75 of my 100 Days of Making Comics Season 2 Werewolves and Unicorns Anthology. And, um, yeah. <clears throat> so, just to let you know, the reason I'm behind on this is that I did all my challenges on social media. I posted up images, um, and then the videos later. So, I'm just posting up the video later. And, um, yeah, so let's, let's get to it, shall we? Let's talk about the video. So, this is day 69. I am drawing a panel well, refining it. It's uh, up the werewolf. And he is standing in front of his bathroom mirror. Right? Because all werewolves, they have, they have their bathrooms and a mirror. Because they're vain. They need to check, make sure their hair is all, you know, good and stuff. And um, this is the point where he was bitten whilst in battle with a unicorn. Well, he's shocked. He's got a shocked look on his face. And uh, here we are on day 70, drawing the next panel. Also, with a sort of shocked look on his face, maybe he's feeling pain here. That's what I tried to draw. Hopefully it worked out. But uh, he's feeling something, that's for sure. I mean, good God, look at those speed lines. Mm-hmm. Professional. Anyway. So, he is feeling something. He's feeling the blues. That's right. Kind of like feeling the blues on how hot it is outside in this summertime weather. Anyway, so what I'm doing here is I'm isolating I'm making, I'm pulling forward the most important part, which is his reaction. I hope I'm achieving it anyway. And giving it a little bit of a dark look. Yeah, no. Trying to pull it together. I think this is the last page, the last video of the werewolves and unicorns that I have to show you. Day 71, now he's turned his back to the camera. And he is... You know, like they do in all those old time cartoons and old movies, you know, where they they turn their back to the prey or the person. And, no, no, you can't see me like this. You're not supposed to see me like this. So that's what I was trying to go for here. And then I put like a little split screen action going on there. Hopefully that was okay. You know, I kind of. Thinking back, maybe I shouldn't have gone so dark with all this stuff, but, eh, you know, you live and you learn, right? You try things, and sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. So, on day 71, as you can see, now I'm on day 72, where... I was drawing a front view of the face, but then I realized, nah, that wasn't dynamic enough. That was my moment, you know, to recognize that, hey, I didn't go far enough there. You know, so I tried to make this an angled shot, you know, because I don't want to always have the same looking panel. That's kind of like the way beginner a, a beginner does it and I'm trying to do better I'm trying to I've been practicing a lot lately you know um, doing a lot of different artwork working on my little skull and working with Larry Lonsby Jr. on some of his artwork and I think I'm really I'm really picking up steam here I think I'm getting better and um, I'm feeling pretty happy with some of the artwork I'm working on now um, I'm proud of this too though and uh, day 73 here, um, close up now of the face. Oh, spoiler alert, he's human now. He's shocked. He's like, hey man, 
What the hell just happened to me, man? I don't even know. Excuse me. Time for a quick sip of the liquid. Anyway, so yeah, what happened was, what, what it happened was the werewolf and the unicorn done battle in the woods, right? And the unicorn took a bite out of crime. No, took a bite out of the werewolf twice. And who knows what rules we live by with werewolves and unicorns, right? We can make that stuff up, right? So I did. The werewolf was susceptible to the magical bite of the unicorn. And actually, in my fictional little mind, <laughs> was that the unicorn bite changed the werewolf back into a human. That's what I get for trying to be all voicey, changing my voice up and stuff. I don't know if I can tell you this, but it's super duper hot out here. It's the dead of summer. And if you don't got some water by you, man, you're gonna you're gonna perish. All right. So anyway. I think I did. These are. This is uh, day 74 where I'm doing borders now. Well, I'm trying to. What you can see here is I'm fitting it to the template that Mr. Michael Emirates provided, and I'm adding. I'm either adding borders, or I did in another file. Not certain, but I did my high res artwork in uh, Clip Studio. And uh, then I'm transferring it over to Photoshop because those darn borders over there in Clip Studio was not that easy to use. At least for my limited uh, brain cells, you know. So rather than waste all the kind of time in the world trying to figure it out, I popped this all into a program that I knew where I could quickly slap in some, uh, some borders, mess with them a little bit, try a couple of different things. <clears throat> What you see here is this white glow around the artwork. Well, the reason I was trying that was because um, those were flashback scenes and I needed to sort of differentiate. You know what I mean? But ultimately, I'm pretty happy with the borders, the way they look right there. The black ones, those were pretty cool. And uh, pretty happy with it overall. I think at one point I ended up asking Mike, I said, hey man, can I go black background on this whole page? He said, yeah, that'd be all right. And I said, okay. Boom. And that's what I did. <clears throat> Ultimately, I had a great time working on this stuff. Um, it was a great experience. And anyone who hasn't done the 100 challenge yet should really get on it. You know what I'm saying? Get on it. You will be better for it. That is a promise. <clears throat> That's not speculation. That <clears throat> is a promise. So, I was laying out these panels and I thought, hey, why don't I mix it up a bit? <clears throat> Do some overlay, strange overlays, you know. I was able to cut them all, uh, cut up all my Clip Studio files into individual panels, pages, what have you. Relayed them out, threw on the borders, and uh, did a little bit of tightening up here and there. Um, yeah, I think it came out good. Well, folks, this is it. I'm running out of video. Oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention. Anyway. Take care. Hope you guys are having a great time. And I will see you in the next recap video. Later. I want to thank you for watching my video. Please visit me on social media and go to Linktree to see all my social media links. 
And if you like this video, please like and share it. The 100 Days of Making Comics was created by Kevin Cross. The challenge is about you spending at least 30 minutes a day on your comic project. And for those 100 days, you have to document your progress on social media. To learn and see more, please follow these links and hashtags 